Hello and welcome to the Variety Yorkshire Business Awards 2019. I'm privileged to recognise an array of Yorkshire businesses celebrating their 100th year. Bayford Group, Leeds United, Betty's and Taylors of Harrogate and Strata Homes have all stood the test of time. They've overcome many challenges, but most importantly, continue to operate under the key values upon which they were established. LNAR support communities and economies up and down the East Coast mainline which are helping businesses to grow and flourish and, and to build over time. So Yorkshire's got a really strong history in terms of businesses and growth and um, supporting the overall UK economy. Some of the businesses are starting out today and forging ahead success and already starting to have a fabulous impact and others are celebrating 100 years or more and have real heritage but continue to lay the foundations for future growth. I thought the shortlist of candidates was fantastic this year. It's always a real pleasure to come and judge because I go away feeling really optimistic and uplifted uh, in terms of the potential for growth uh, and entrepreneurship and innovation in Yorkshire. I think this year the quality of entry is really higher than we've had in recent years and I think that reflects the the sort of growing strength of the Yorkshire economy and just an ethos and an attitude to doing business in the right way. So you had big stalwarts, you know, big Yorkshire names everyone would have heard of, with great exceptional boards doing great business this year, right down to startup companies almost with five, six, seven people, but already generating great revenues and profits. The great thing about Yorkshire, particularly Yorkshire businesses, is they're quite fearless and very brave, and the people are very brave, and they're not afraid to cross boundaries. Uh, the people of Yorkshire are willing to disrupt, uh, they're willing to knuckle down and, and really take on difficult challenges and that's why we've seen so many successful businesses shortlisted in this year's awards. The number of companies in manufacturing, um, digital manufacturing and the number of companies who are innovative who may actually have changed their business models uh, as well as being companies exploiting a new opportunity in the market. I think it really shows that uh, this year we've got a very, very good healthy selection of Yorkshire companies uh, doing very well, sometimes in challenging circumstances. When it comes to Yorkshire, you take its countryside, you take its coastline, you take its people, you take its cities, towns and villages, its sports teams, its culture. It's among the best in the world in my opinion. I think all of that feeds into a wonderful culture that is just the first class and a fantastic place to start to grow. And you've also got a real sense of optimism, I think, in the region. You look at what's been talked about in terms of the entries this year. They are not talking about challenging climates. They're not talking about the usual negativity. They're seeing it all as opportunity. Yorkshire's a fantastic place to do business for a number of reasons, but in particular, the depth and the quality of the human capital available, the skills base, the people, and that allows Yorkshire businesses to create innovative solutions and products and not only service the Yorkshire business community but much further afield and in some cases in all corners of the globe. I think people want to come and live here, it's gorgeous, it's well connected, so in short, yeah, really, really good place to do business. So now I'll leave you to enjoy the afternoon, find out who takes home the accolades, but most importantly, raise an incredible sum of money for Variety for Children's Charity.